Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 I'm a Lover Challenge. So we're here with the family at the house, and as you can tell right now, Gary is teaching little Caden how to talk. Um, I believe that is the last of the three things that we still need to teach him. Um, talking. Yeah, and I don't think we have to potty train him, and if we do, that's fine. Yep, we do have to potty train him, so that's okay. That means that he already knows how to walk, and... That's good. It's, it's at least one of the three. I think he's got quite a few days left anyways. Yeah, five days. So we've got plenty of time. All right. Anyways, Kelly is upstairs. She's painting with the zombie watching. Um, and after she's done, she's going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Uh, I should get her to take a shower. Then I should get her to go to sleep. So you can go ahead and eat. Why don't you eat the hot dogs? And then I'll let you go to sleep. Alright, Garrett is already sleeping. When Garrett gets up, I want him to go ahead and take care of his bathroom needs. Alright, and this baby is just upset because he needs a diaper change. Other than that, he is okay. Alright, so she just finished. It's worth 73 simoleons. So that's good. Oh wait, before you go to bed, let me go ahead and have you sell this for 73. Are we having him sell them or take them? No, we're having you take them. Okay, so don't sell it. Take this painting. Alright, and then you can go to bed after that. Alright. Perfect. So, let's get you to bed after that. You guys are not going to finish this today. So, why don't you go ahead and... Don't worry about potty training him. Why don't you just go ahead and change his diaper? Change his dirty diaper. And then you need to feed him in the high chair. Alright, then go ahead and put your child in the high chair. Put Caden in the high chair after that. Alright, spooky day is coming up. Alright. And I'm going to let you serve him up some food. And then I'm going to let you eat as well. So let me go ahead and have you serve him up some of the hot dogs. And then you can eat some of the hot dogs as well. And then I'll let you go to bed after you put him in his crib. So that'll be good. After you do all that, do you eat your leftover hot dogs? I'll let you put Caden in his crib. And then I'll let you climb into bed yourself. And then everything should be good. Well, that looked weird, didn't it? <laughs> I think it's see like the doorknobs. But it looks funky. Alright, and she's here. You can see her through the fridge. Aww. <laughs> she closed us in. Alright. That's fine. Oh, Kelly, before you do this, these two things, let's go outside and let you accept some gifts. I don't know why this is running so slow today, but that's alright. We'll figure it out. It'll settle down. Alright, why don't you go ahead and accept gifts from a friend when you're done. And then I'll have you go upstairs. Go ahead and take your painting. And then you can go ahead and sleep. That way you'll get all that done. Alright, so everyone is going to be fed. Good. Alright, Aaron Olsen, that's fine. Alright, Samar Zahn is getting pretty old and won't live forever. That's fine. Alright, you're going to clean up. I know, you. you're a good girl. And you're neat, so you'll always clean up after yourself. Alright, Garrett, you're still sleeping. It's only 1.30 in the morning, so it kind of makes sense. Did you just break the dishwasher? Because if you did, I'm not going to be very happy with you right now. What the heck? Come on, I'm not doing that. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we got to repair the dishwasher now. Oh, that's aggravating. He's like, I don't want to fix that before bed. Well, you'll be okay. How is his energy? It's not bad, but I mean, it could be better. Connection to the server has been lost. I think you've lost your mind. Alright. Um, Loki has been contemplating a move in the near future. Alright, so while they're sleeping, I'll try and log back in, see if, any, if I can or not. I don't know why it said that, but I was just accepting gifts a couple minutes ago, so I'm a little confused. Not going to lie to you. Alright, forget about fixing this this morning. Let's just send you to bed. 
You're too tired to do it right now. We'll get you to do it in the morning. Plus you have tomorrow off, so I can let you do it in the morning. If you had to work tomorrow, I'd probably get you to do it, though you would be going to work in a couple of hours, so that would be really mean. But that's okay. Alright, so everyone should be good to go. You're going to sleep, which is good. You need to be going to sleep. You're tired. Alright, so everyone's asleep. Let me go ahead and cut out here, and I'll be back when, probably when Garrett's getting up for his day. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so Garrett is getting up right now. Um, I was not able to actually get the internet issue fixed. It's not because I don't have internet. I think it's because they're doing site maintenance. So the bad thing is, is I had a present or a gift in there that was for this family and it's going to have to wait until the next time I record this LP which normally I record about once a week um, twice if you're lucky so I'm hoping it'll still be there I've got some other ones for some other LPs that are still in there from a while ago so I'm thinking it will be but I'm just trying to be you know trying to give it the benefit of the doubt all right, I do want you to eat that muffin before you go, so let's make sure you get out of the shower pretty quickly so you can go, and then we should be good. All right, Garrett, you are one cute little kid, and you're getting closer to your birthday. You've got about four days until you're going to be a teen, so you'll be a teen the day before your brother becomes a child. No, the same day. You guys will share this birthday. Your mom has about, you. all three of you guys are going to age up the same day, and your father's birthday is tomorrow. You're not going to eat the muffin? Well, I really wanted you to eat the muffin, but I guess not. All right. Gary, you're fine. The baby's pretty much fine. Everyone's pretty much fine. Who am I kidding? All right, I'm going to get you over here to just take care of your needs. Gary, when you get up, let's go ahead and let you shower. Who needs more of a relationship boost with this baby? Mom does. All right, Mom, you're the one that's going to take care of him then. You're going to get up and take care of your little boy. Go ahead and uh, change his diaper. You can go ahead and change his outfit to his everyday. Go ahead and snuggle him. Go ahead and... No, we're going to potty train him after that. That's what we're going to do. All right, when you get up and take your shower, I'm going to have you head downstairs. You're going to go ahead and repair the dishwasher. You're going to mop up the floor. Mop up floor. And then you're going to go ahead and have some leftover waffles for breakfast. And you should be good. All right, Garrett, go ahead and meet new friends at school. Hopefully they feed you pretty quickly. I mean, I tried to get you to eat. You chose not to, so that's not really my fault. It's your own. All right, Kelly, today we're going to start working on the last romance novel that you have to write and hopefully we can get through quite a bit of that before your fun goes all the way down and then we're gonna paint after that so we can get your lifetime wish moving ahead so I'm hoping this will work I'm hoping not gonna be thinking it's gonna go the way I want it to because it may not so I'm just like I said I'm just gonna hope that it works hope it goes the way I want and then we'll have to wait and see I'm hoping this next romance novel, she can get it done by the time she ages up, which is in about four days. And then from there, um, we can go ahead and just focus mainly on painting. So that's what I'm hoping for because for her life to wish, she has to master the painting and the writing. Now, if we look at her skills, writing is mastered. Painting, on the other hand, is at a level six. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go ahead and paint for until she masters that. Um, and that's fine. We can do that. The next generation has a bit of a different story. So that'll be good. All right. Let's go ahead and potty train Caden. You finish repairing the dishwasher, which is great. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I can't do that now. So annoying. It really drives me crazy, like when I can't do things that I normally can on this game. It drives me nuts. Alright, anyways. Let's go ahead and let you make your bed, because you did not make it. So, it is your side of the bed, I'm not going to lie. Alright, you need to learn the martial arts skill, which means 
after you make your bed, I'm going to send you over to the consignment store, which is right here. So go ahead and visit uh, the consignment store. We're going to see if we can possibly purchase uh, the practice dummy, whatever it's called. I think it's called the practice dummy. So let's see. All right, next thing I want you to do is I want you to put your son down here in the high chair. So go ahead and put Caden in the high chair. And we're going to get him fed. And we're going to get you fed after that. I mean, these guys just ate. Don't they know that they just ate? I mean, I don't need that much. All right. Oh, he's finally potty trained. Nice. I didn't know that he got potty trained. All right. That's good. That makes me happy. All right. And then we're going to get him fed. Then we're going to get you to eat. Then we're going to get you to go upstairs and empty the potty. And then we'll do some things. Or we'll have your husband empty the potty when he comes home. One or the other. All right. Let's go ahead and have you serve him some waffles. That'll be nice. And then why don't you go ahead and eat some of the waffles as well. And then when you're done with that, go ahead and let your son out. So let Caden out when you're done. And then go ahead and begin writing your romance novel. I'm going to get her set up so that when we're gone, she can do things on her own. And we're going to go with Gary because I'm tired of being cooped up at the house. I feel like I'm cooped up in a lot of my LPs. Like I'm always at my house. And I don't like that. I like to get out. I like to go out and do things. But I always have so many kids that I really can't. Though we only have one toddler, so there's not really an excuse on here. But the whole point of her out, this LP is for her to write her romance novels. So things will change when she's actually done and or, you know, once we can actually do more. Alright, let me go in here and see if he can buy any of these things. Now I'm not gonna promise that he can actually do this because I don't really know. I locked it in because there's a possibility that we could buy it here without having to travel. But I'm not traveling to go learn the martial arts skill, I can tell you that much. Alright, so let's get you this. What is this man's name? Ernesto Hudson. Alright, Ernesto. Do you got the stuff that we're looking for? You've got nectar. you got the miner. Oh, but you don't got what I'm looking for, do you? And I don't think there is any books in here on martial arts because I don't even honestly believe. Oh, you know what? If you need to m learn the martial arts skill, let's read the book. How about that? So let's go ahead and let you learn martial arts. All right. He's excited because he just bought something from the consignment store. Oh, I forget every single time. <laughs> it's going to be like a big thing with me. I'm going to keep forgetting. All right, so go ahead and learn the martial arts skill. You don't even need the training dummy. You can just buy the book from here, and you can learn it, and then you can go home. So once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and let you go home. What else do you need to do? You need to work out for three hours. All right, I'm not going to let you go home. I'm going to send you to the gym when you're done, and hopefully you can get all that done. All right. Let's see. Let's get your son out of the high chair. Now that you've got him taken care of and he's fed and good and ready to go. All right, you're going to go ahead and come over here. You're going to play with the peg box. I don't know if you've completed playing with these things or not, but we're going to find out in just a second. You need to be taught how to talk, too. So when Dad's done over at the gym, I'm probably going to have him come over and teach you to talk again. All right. <clears throat> All right. You still need to work with your son, but I need to get you to do this. That's a bad thing. She kind of takes a hit on her relationship with her kids. Uh, what would you like to name your new book? What a Fall Was There. Okay. Um, she kind of takes a hit with her kids because she can't really take care of them as much as he can. Because she's always trying to write. And writing takes forever, especially the romance novels. They're one of the longest ones to write. So it's really crazy. Um, and then... To also have to complete paint or master the painting skill, that's another tedious little activity that you would have to do all the time just to master it. And we've only, we're only a little bit above six, which means we pretty much got four more levels to go. So that's pretty crazy. All right, come on. You're going to work on that. That's good. Do you have after school activities? I don't know if you do or not. Yes, you do. Okay. But you're on a field trip today? That's fine. All right, Garrett, you met Brooke Lockett at school. Okay. 
Well, that was a quick storm, wasn't it? All right, let's get you to do this one. All right, can I already see you working? Working hard. Or hardly working, you're both. All right, you still need to write a biography on Jesse Clark. That could be the next book we write. I think Jesse Clark's an old man anyways, so it doesn't really matter, but that's okay. That is a-okay. I don't even know how to write a biography, to be honest with you. I've done it before. I just don't know how to do it now. Hmm. But that's okay. All right, buddy, you want to go fishing? We could go fishing with you after school, actually, if you don't have after school activities. So let me just jump over to you. If you come out at 3, then we'll take you over fishing. If you don't, then you don't. How about that? I love this little door here. I wish we could actually add that to places. Look at it. It looks so cute. That's really cute. Who's this little girl? Georgina Ingberg. Oh, there's little Garrett. All right, Garrett. Let's take you over so you can go fishing. You might as well just go visit Serenity Sands Beach. So I know you can go fishing at the beach. You may not catch very much, but that's okay. All right, so let's go with you, Garrett. We're going to go over there. Oh, you just got on the honor roll. That's pretty good. Good work for you. And he's doing great in school. He's made it on the honor roll. Okay. Who's this little man? I was like, no, no. I don't know what the last name was, but it was a long name. All right, everyone's going to be doing what they need to do. There's a lot of stuff that spawns on this world, I've realized. All right, Garrett, let's get you down here. I'm going to go ahead and let you fish. And let's see. Can you fish? All right, stop, stop, stop. Just go fish. This is where your mama bear and papa bear got married, little man. All right, you're working on that. We got people over here. All right. Where the heck are you going? You gotta run all the way like this? Oh, you've officially lost your mind. And you wanna have a sleepover. Well, I plan to do that this weekend. Hopefully you'll still be a child. Um, I think you age up Saturday. <laughs> we can do it Friday night. Okay, well that's pretty. All right, Garrett, so you're good. We can let you just stay here for a little while do some fishing and then when you're done I'm gonna send you home once you get rid of that go fishing moodlet or memory or wish man I can't even speak today all right well that's happening a lot more often okay when you're done here and you just don't want to paint anymore I'm gonna let you go over and paint some paint some small because you're only at 18 paintings once you get done with 30 you'll paint faster so we'll be good all right and when you're ready to move on over you can how are you doing there Gary haven't been over to check on you in a little while doing okay yeah he's just reading his book he's like yeah I'm here <laughs> I'm here reading my book got a good deal saving a few simulones is pure satisfaction okay so we just need to learn this martial arts skill and then you're good to go and then we probably don't need to learn the martial arts skill anymore, but that's okay. All right, you want to reach level 10 of your career. What are you at? A level 9. Okay, we could absolutely do that. And you want to upgrade 9 more objects. That's a lot more objects. But it doesn't have to be at the house, I don't believe. It could be anywhere. So if we wanted to come over here and upgrade these, we could. All right, so now you know the martial arts skill. She just earned uh, 75 simoleons for submitting a few chapters. He just grasped the martial arts skill, which is great. Oh, man. I hate that I can't send out my memories. It really drives me crazy. All right, are you done? Yes, you are. You want to stay in the honor roll for three days. All right, go home. And when you get home, I'm going to let you go ahead and do your homework. And that'll be good. Ernesto is now the father of a new baby boy. Christian just gave birth to a baby boy named Vaughn. 
All right, Vaughn. Wow. That's a lot of dogs, white dogs. Let me put it that way. Somebody has a, a herd of dogs. What is this? Show off new belt. All right, I'm going to let you come up here. And I'm going to let you go ahead and work out. Go ahead and do good pacing. All right, you're done with the peg box. Let's go ahead and switch you over to the xylophone. This is why I have everyone set up to do things that they need to do. All right, I'm going to go and let you stop your romance novel and move over to um, painting. Through tireless training and determination, Gary Bridges has earned a new belt. All right, that's fine with me. Are you home? You're on your bike on your way home, so that's good. And let's get you working out. All you got to do is work out for three hours and you will be good to go. Tomorrow you get can get that done at work, so that's good. And this here, you'll have this done in a little while. And then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you home, get you to take care of it. All right, Mara Perry, you're coming over to use the workout equipment. Sounds good to me. Whoa. Oh, she already slipped and fell. <laughs> All right, so jumping over to Kelly because she's outside painting and Gary's just running on a treadmill. So, you know, not the most amusing thing in the world. But at least this, oh, I like it. It's a watermelon and bananas. So very summery. Even knowing it is fall and it's only 40 degrees outside and you're outside painting. Oh, that's different. <laughs> now it's not fully completed. All right, when you're done with your homework, little man, let's get you over here. Let's go ahead and let you eat some of the hot dogs. And then what do I want you to do? Something's broken. I can hear it. I don't know what it is. Is there something upstairs? Oh, she broke the computer. Oh, that's horrible. All right, when you get home, let's get you to repair the computer then. And I'm probably going to need to get you home and get you in bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you come home, repair the computer. Then you're going to go to sleep. Then you're going to take a shower in the morning when you wake up. And you're going to go ahead and eat waffles. All right, Samar Zan has passed on. Okay. It is 8 o'clock, so when you're done eating, I'm going to go ahead and let you... What do I want you to do? Do I want you to do something else, or do I want you to just go straight to bed? Can't really tell you. Why don't you go ahead and clean up first? And then... What do I want you to do? All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and put this in here. All right, well, I guess since it's 8.30, I'll let you go ahead and use the bathroom before you go to bed. And then you'll be ready in the morning to go on out and do what you gotta do. All right, Kelly, when you're done with this, we got lots we need to do with you. One of them being you need to take care of Caden. Caden, you need to take care of your own bladder though. So why don't you get over here and use this potty, and then you should be good. Dad, did you work out for three hours? No. Okay, well, hopefully soon. I don't know why it still says zero of three hours. That's ridiculous, because he's working out right now. Hmm. Wait. Oh, you need to push yourself. Duh. Pay attention to what it says, and then it would start to work. All right, well, he's going to push himself. Hopefully, he's not going to be exhausted in the morning. All right, so he may not finish it, but it doesn't say he has to do it straight, so it's good. All right, Kelly. This thing is going to be really cool because we already seen the finished product, even though we weren't supposed to. That's okay. We like to see things. All right. Let's get that taken care of. I may have to pause this in just a minute to go shut my windows. It's getting kind of cold in here. And I need to shut the two windows that I have open in my house. Alright, so you just finished your painting worth 97 simoleons. So, hold on, hold on. Go ahead and take this painting. 
Little man, go use the bathroom. I'm not telling you again. All right, you're going to come over here and you're going to use this. You're going to shower. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to put Caden in the high chair. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're going to empty that potty upstairs. Because you know I'm going to forget about it. And then in the morning, I'm going to have to do it. And I'm going to be like, oh, why didn't I do that last night? Don't put off tom till tomorrow what you can do today. So she's going to do it today. She can do it. She can do it. All right, Eugene, you're up to athletic skill level three. What are you at? A little over an hour. All right, well, you just use the potty chair. That's good. We, def oh, we definitely need to do that. What is this? Train with a training dummy. We're probably not going to do that because we don't have one. And we're definitely not traveling. Not right now, anyways. This generation is not traveling. Let's put it that way. I don't know about the other ones because I have not read ahead. So I don't know what the other generations have to do. I just know that the next one starts um, as a teenager. That's all I know. So I don't know what the little statement is. So once Garrett becomes a teenager, we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, I thought about making it a rule where each child that we have has to go by the rules. So, like, the next generation will be both kids, not their husbands and wives. It's not going to be like Garrett, because Gary, like, didn't have to do the challenge like she did. So, she had to complete the challenge and do what she needed to do. And so, we could do go ahead and do that with the next generation as well and make Caden and Garrett do it. That way, we're not leaving anyone out. And that would also make it so if we had a ton of kids, we'd have a lot of work ahead of us. So we'll probably keep the kids at a minimum unless it tells us otherwise. This generation, we were only allowed to have two children. So it's not like we could choose, you know, to have more. We're only allowed to have two. Not that I'm complaining because I think the house is perfect and I think the family is perfect. And I really don't think we need a big house or a big family right now. I've got my hands full of the four that I've got. <laughs> so, I like that about this LP that, you know, it kind of keeps me at a small family, and I like that. All right, go ahead and serve them up some waffles. It's not really time for waffles, but that's okay. Is there even, there's not even anything in here that's worth eating. Go ahead and eat the blueberry muffin. Your son made it. You might as well. Um, nope, that's not what I told you to do, so thanks for not listening. Put Caden back. Put Caden back. He is still hungry. You still didn't feed him. I hate when they choose things on their own. Serve him waffles. Thank you for actually listening this time. And then you go ahead and eat the blueberry muffin. Gary, how are you doing? You're almost done. Okay. Alright, so you can stop working out. Alright, it says, you pushed yourself harder than normal and didn't sustain injury. You probably shouldn't push yourself for every workout, but it's nice to learn your limits from time to time. Alright, so there we go. We got that done. Now he's on his way home. Don't worry about fixing the computer. Just go to bed. You gotta go to work in seven hours, so you're gonna need it. We'll let Kelly fix it. I think she's got handiness, right? No, she is not fixing it. <laughs> All right, it's only a matter of time before Stefan Savards passes on. If the family wants to retain the home, they will have to act quickly before Stefan dies. Well, that's sad. I think Stefan was one of our first friends, um, and his brother Steen was our friend. I remember trying to figure out if we were going to go for one of them or not, and then we met Gary, and all things went haywire after there, then. All right, they tied the knot recently. All right, that's fine. All right, when you're done, I'm going to go ahead and let you empty this potty. And then I'm going to let you go upstairs. You're going to put uh, Caden in the crib, and you're going to go to sleep. And both of you are going to have a good old time in bed. All right, don't choke on your son's thing. He'll feel very guilty if you pass away because you choked on his muffin. All right, let's see. There's a vanilla and a blueberry still in there, so that's fine. And there's still waffles in there for when he gets up in the morning because I did tell him to do that. What is he doing? Is he, like, stuck or something? It's taking him an awfully long time to get in a taxi to come home. I don't know what was going on there or what happened, but it was taking an awfully long time. Let's put it that way. Because he had seven hours. He's down to six hours now. Almost five. So he better hurry up and get home because he needs some sleep. 
I thought that was our house, but it's the next one over. All right. Let's get you inside, get you to sleep. Why don't we just stop you there? Go, go to bed. Man, you're taking too long. All right, and you're putting Caden in bed, which is good. Okay. And then you're going to bed yourself. Garrett's already sleeping. All right, when he gets up, he's going to pretty much go ahead and do some of the things, pretty much the same routine he had yesterday. And he's going to go ahead and eat waffles if there is some. All right, Gary, you're headed to bed. That's good. And Kelly, you're off to bed. All right, so let me go ahead and cut out here, and I'll be back when we're getting up for their day. Be back in just a second. All right, so Garrett is up. He is headed into his bathroom. He's going to take care of some things. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. I think uh, Gary's going to be getting up in a little bit. Anyways, I hope he is because... His carpool is going to be coming pretty shortly. Yeah, his carpool is coming in about two hours. So, Gary, let's get you up. He didn't get a full bar, full bar of energy, but he had got at least got more than halfway up. So, that's pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let him take a shower. And then he's going to head downstairs and he's going to grab some waffles. You're seriously going to complain when I just told you what you were going to do. And I waffles was in there. You just had to complain, didn't you? All right, you want to get attention from Dad. Is your relationship with him slipping? No, it's not. So that's okay. You don't really, I mean, I would love for you to do that. What's this? 250, 250. All right, I'd rather do that one. Um, all right, so let's get you downstairs to eat some waffles. Your dad's going to be coming down in just a second to eat. Kelly, when you get up, let's go ahead and let you use and shower. And then I'm going to let you take care of the baby because no one else is going to be here to do it. So you need to change his diaper. You need to change Caden's outfit to his everyday. You need to go ahead and snuggle this poor child. And then we'll get you to feed him downstairs in the high chair. Alright, can I choose for you to put him? No. Not yet. Alright, your carpool is here, but you're going to go ahead and eat first. Because you're starving, Marvin. Alright, and your carpool is not here yet, but that's okay. There must be still waffles because he's going in there. And my cats are going crazy like always. All right, babies was the only word Aaron Olson and Oscar Olson could say. Man, Oscar, you have been around since the very, very beginning of this LP, and you're still around making babies. All right, if you want to. All right, and since you have some time, let's go ahead and let you clean up plates. And if you have time after that, go ahead and watch some TV. He's coming. He needs to eat first. Man, people are just honky-dory today. All right, are you done eating? I don't want you to clean up. You don't really have time for that. All right, that's fine. Go on to work. Have a good day at work. We got your thing done for you, so you should be able to go ahead and get that taken care of today while at work. And you should do well because you're in a pretty good mood. Let's go ahead and let you suck up to your superior because your boss relationship has fallen quite a bit. And I want to get that taken care of for you. So that's fine. All right, Kelly. Yeah, it's Gary's birthday today. I knew that. Oh, I hate it for you, Gary. I really do. I hope you get promoted because you're at level 9. If we could just get you all the way to the top today, that would be great. That way you wouldn't have to go back on Friday, and you wouldn't have to go back as an elder, and you could retire tonight. So that would be great. All right, it's about time you learned to sweep the leg of an attacker. You demonstrated this move to your boss, and he reluctantly approved the raise you were prom promised. A raise of $10 and increased career performance. Now, if you look, he's already halfway through his um, job meter, so that's great. He's been busting his hump and, earned, and got a raise of 26 simoleons an hour, so that's great. All right, so go ahead and suck up to your superior. Once that's in green like athletic is, I'm going to have him push it and work hard, and then he should be good. All right, Kelly, you're not quite up yet, so that's fine. You're just watching TV before school, which is good. You got up early enough where you could do this. I like that about it. When I was a child, I always sat down, ate my cereal, and watched TV in the mornings. My mom was always watching the Today Show, but hey, I at least got to watch some TV before school, and I liked that. I liked being able to do that. Um, 
So that was fun. All right, so go ahead and go to school. Today you don't have a field trip, so you won't. You'll probably have to go to your after school activities, I believe. Nope, no after school activities for you today. So that's fine. You can come back home, and we'll do some things with you that you need to do, like get attention from your your daddy. So we'll go ahead and get you to do that. I'm going to watch Gary's performance meter because once this hits that dark green, I'm going to have him push it. So I really want to be able to make sure that he gets that done. Now, on the other hand, you, on the other hand, are about to get up, so that's good. So I'm not going to speed up or anything, or I'm not going to um, cut out or anything because she's about to get up. She'll be taking care of Caden, and we'll be getting into her day as well. Now, I don't know what we're going to do about this, but we're going to work on painting while this is broken. I'm hoping when Gary gets home, we can go ahead and get him to fix it for us. Since he's got a very, very high handiness skill, that'll be perfect for him to do. Oh, I really like him to get this boss thing pumped up. How high are you with your boss? You guys are like, oh, it's because you guys are old friends. That's why. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But as you can see, his performance meter started down here. He jumped up with the promotion or the thing, and then now he can work hard because he's got that pumped back up. And it's because, you know, it's maxed out pretty much. Even though they are still old friends, he worked with her. I'm hoping he can get this done because that means his lifetime wish would be completed today. And that would make me a very happy person to know that before he even became an elder, I was able to officially complete his lifetime wish. So that would feel really good. Um, let's see. And he would have well over 100,000, which is what I try to always achieve with my Sims, so that they get that really tall tombstone, which I really like. And I thought it was always it would be nice to at least get that for him. So I'm hoping we can get that for him. I really do. I think he may get a promotion today. I'm not really sure how it works. I'm not sure how close he really is or how easily he can get there, but hopefully he can. All right, so Kelly, you go ahead and just take care of your needs. You don't need to wash your hands. Go ahead and stop washing your hands and just take your shower. And then we'll get you to take care of Caden, because I'm sure he wants to be taken care of. You're going ahead and meeting new friends, which is exactly what you need to do. So that's good. You want to also chat with your son? We could do that too. You guys did slip a little bit. I mean, not too much. You have a good relationship with everyone. You have a good relationship with your parents. You and your brother don't really have a relationship, but I'll get that fixed in just a little bit. You have good relationship pretty much with just your dad. Your mom and you have an okay relationship. It's not great, but it could because it could always be better. But it's not horrible. Oh, he's getting close. All right, so you're going to change his diaper, change his outfit, snuggle him. And then we're going to get you downstairs. You're going to feed him in the high chair. Hopefully there's food left. Is there waffles left? Because if not, yes, there is. Okay. So I'm going to have you put Caden in the high chair. And that'll be good. I'm going to watch his performance meter because I'm excited. I'm really excited, hoping he's going to get this. All right, you just met Georgina Ingber Ingberg at school. Okay, that's fine. I think he may get that promotion, so that'll be exciting. All right, come on. Oh, this stupid message. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this done. All right, once you feed him in the high chair, I'm going to go ahead and let you go ahead and grab some food as well. So why don't you go ahead and serve him up some waffles? All right, and then I'm going to get you to eat the waffles as well. almost thought that was a fridge. Go ahead, actually, eat a vanilla muffin. Get what you, your son made out of you. Oh, out of the fridge, let's say. All right, so what do you want to do? Meet fellow soldiers? We could do that. You're almost there. Oh, my goodness. Really stinks that you're like work, you're too strained to work hard now, because I don't think you'll actually finish getting your promotion now. But that's okay. You don't have to. You can go back to work one more time. That's fine with me. I really would have just liked you to get it, but that's all right. You'll be fine. All right. So let's let you eat, and then what I'm gonna let you do? So I'm gonna let you let him out. Let Caden out. Actually, I'm actually going to have you go ahead and teach him to talk while your husband comes home 
and fixes up your computer for you. All right, so he just earned 1,411 simoleons today. That is good. All right, you're on your way home, so that's good. And look at how close he is to his level, his promotion. That is crazy how close he is. All right, so I'm going to let him repair the computer, and then I'm going to let him go ahead and take a nap. So go ahead and repair this, and then let's let you go ahead and take a nap. Kelly, once you're done, go ahead and let's get you going. And then once he's done and taking a nap, you can stop teaching him to talk or finish, and then we'll let you go ahead and work on your book. You've got about another three days. I know that you're not going to finish writing this book in three, or you're not going to finish the painting skill in three days, but I'm hoping you can at least finish your book. So that's what I'm trying to work towards. But we also got to get poor little Caden taught how to talk. He deserves it, so we'll get him working on it. All right, Garrett, you're at school. You're doing a fantastic job there. All right, and you don't have after-school activities today, so that's fine. How close is he? Is he really close? He's really close. All right, Gary, you just improved your handiness skill. Perfect. That is really perfect. By repairing that computer, he improved it. Oh, that's ridiculous. All right, so that even helped you out a little bit with your job because handiness is important for your job. I think you're supposed to be at 10, but that's all right. You're at 9. We worked hard on it, so that's good. All right, when you're done teaching him to talk, I want you to come upstairs, and I want you to continue writing what you have started. And then when you're too tired of doing that, you can go ahead and paint. And when you have finished learning to talk, I'm going to go ahead and let you use the potty. And then I'm going to get you over here. And I'm going to let you play with this. And then when your brother gets home, he's going to do his homework, probably grab a snack. And then I'll probably get him to get his relationship up with his brother. So that'll be good. All right, you're about done teaching him. That's good. I can't believe he's that close and hasn't gotten that promotion. Look how close that is. That is way too close for comfort. All right. He totally could have done it if I hadn't pushed him so early. I think he would have, but that's okay. That is A-okay. He can go to work one more time. It's not that big of a deal. All right, you just taught him how to talk, which is great. Oh, I keep forgetting that I can't send it out. That's fine. All right. My cat is going crazy, and he keeps falling today. It's so weird. Never falls in my life. But it's because he's climbing like a crazy monkey across everything. So it's probably not normal and not very stable, so he keeps falling. So this is kind of his own stupidity. All right. So, Caden, get this potty done, and we'll be good. You finish this book, and we'll be even better. Because that's part of this challenge. And she's getting closer. Oh, Gary, you got an invitation to Karen Perry's party at 7.30 p.m. All right, we can go to that. We can go to that. You can steal the thunder by having your birthday at their party. And that's fine with me. All right, when you're done, I'm going to let you go downstairs. You're going to go ahead and grab some a vanilla muffin vanilla muffin. All right, when you get out of school, we'll get you taken care of as well. Caden, get to your little thing and let's get you pumping out those skills. <sighs> After this, I think he's done. He's already done the peg box. He knows the walk, talk, and potty. Just xylophone is left. All right, stop. Sometimes they get like this. And it's just easier to click them out and tell them to go again. Because then they'll get right back up. If you don't, they'll sit there for a while, try and figure out what they were doing, and look, too long. Takes too long. All right, am I going to have to do it again on you? I think I am. All right, go ahead. All right, Gary, we're with you. You had a nice nap. That's good. Let's get you down here to eat this, and then what do you want to do? You want to learn the stew surprise recipe. Hmm. Do you learn that by mastering your your skill, or do you have to go buy the recipe for that? I bet you you could buy the recipe for it. Do you have a, a multi-tab in your inventory? No. 
you got fish though we need to get those out of your inventory so let's put those in here I think you got fish too don't you no all right what do you want to do you want to play in the treehouse you want to go for a joyride find a rock let's play in the treehouse all right go ahead and do your homework oh man look at all the trees they're going barren all right and then you can play in the kids clubhouse and my alarm just went off I always hate leaving some of my LP, some of my LPs. Some of the other ones that are stressful are like, oh, God, get me out of here. But that's okay. All right, Ernesto Hudson and Christian Yee are having a baby. All right, that's fine. Okay, up to you. You're not quite where I thought you would be yet. I thought you'd be just about halfway. But that's okay. You have done this in like a day. So I know that you can get it done before you age up. All right, you on the other hand, you're cleaning up, which is good. Why don't you, what do you need to do, actually? You need to upgrade things. What else can we upgrade? I really don't know, like, all the things that you can upgrade. I thought I've done them all. But maybe I haven't. Have you upgraded this? Why don't you upgrade it to improve jets? That'll be good. All right. So let's get you to take care of this. You're going out to play on the playhouse or the treehouse because you're done with your homework finally. You guys in the same umbrella. You guys are crazy people. All right, come on. And then I'm going to get you inside to eat probably in a little bit because you're pretty hungry. You want to go for a joy ride? We could do that. That'd be pretty easy. These are easy wishes that I can get done for you pretty quickly. So that's good. You want to go fishing before 6 a.m. Well, that's not going to happen until at least Saturday. Because I'm sorry, but I'm not getting you up early just so you can go out and fish. All right, she just earned 75 more simoleons for her book. That's fine with me. All right, go for a joyride, and then I'm going to get you in here. You're going to go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat a vanilla muffin. That's going to be your dinner. Hope you like it. I hope you like it. All right, what else can we improve? Can you upgrade this? Um, nope, I guess not. That's okay. That's all right. All right, these people. All right, Stefan Savard has passed on. Oh, Stefan, I'm sorry. I really am. I'm. We knew Stefan, and that's just sad because we fell out of touch with him because we were trying to write all of our books. I'm just sad Gary's aging up today. That's kind of what I'm waiting for to happen, if you guys are wondering while I'm going over. I'm kind of waiting for his birthday, but I guess I could end it here. I just, I don't know. I don't normally like to end right before a birthday, but that's okay. All right, well, since everyone's working on skills, Gary's working on his handiness. Uh, Garrett, he's not really working on a skill. He's going to get down out of the treehouse anyways and come do his joyride. Uh, ate it. Or Aiden. Caden is working on his little xylophone. Um, Kelly is upstairs finishing off this last book. She's about halfway, if not already halfway. No, she's just about. Look how close that is. It's really, really close. So she's just about halfway with, done with her book. And then possibly, you know, right before she ages up, she'll be able to finish her book. Actually, the day before she ages up. That's what I'm hoping for her anyways. In the next one, we'll go ahead and... Gary, why don't you go ahead and attend the party, buddy? Um, did that actually not go for him? That really stinks. Anyways, in the next one, we'll continue on with, you know, what we're doing pretty much. And trying to do as much as we can with the kids. And getting them ready. Uh, we'll be seeing Gary age up to a elder, which is not going to be fun at all for me. I'm going to actually be probably really upset. I really don't like it when my Sims age to elder. Because then I know... You know, it's just right around the corner before time is over with them. So, guys, if you guys like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. In the next one, we may even see some birthdays. We've got about three of them the same day, so that'll be a pretty hectic day. And I'll go ahead and talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.